Hello. I just got back home. I went to the office to drop off my last things for my work. This is where my Cintiq was and now it's returned. And also my room is a gigantic mess and I need to clean. I don't know how this keeps happening, but I just constantly make a mess in my room. So I'm gonna change that this week. So I was thinking since this is my first like week off, I wanted to revamp everything. <laughs> and since I'm going to be in my studio space quite often, I was thinking to reorganize and reshuffle everything and just, you know, overall give like a nice deep clean of the space. And then at the end, I'll have the long-awaited studio tour. I know a lot of people have been really wondering about like the specifics of my studios and kind of an overview of everything, including my plants. So I'm hoping that this will be the video. <laughs> Overall, this space has been pretty nice. Like it's very compact and cozy, but uh, it's really hard to have everything be efficient. So like if you've seen in my previous vlogs, I've already reorganized things where I've had like my cart be all my inventory stuff and the inside of my closet is all my shipping stuff. No matter what, whenever I'm packing by myself, like everything just gets all over the place and it's just not a great experience. So I think the goal of this week is to one, clean and manage everything and two, just make it so that there's a flow and overall cohesion to the workplace where things make sense. Like one thing, first of all, is like this couch cover, I don't like. I'm sorry. This is my brother's and I'm so glad he gave it to me, but I hate this Ikea couch cover. It doesn't really match the room and I kind of want to get something to go with the overall theme. Um, I think I'm too lazy to start right now, but I, I will start eventually. So. I'll do some other work in the meantime, but first thing in the morning, I'll be cleaning all day. Good morning! I wanted to start way earlier, but I just kind of had like a very slow morning, so now I'm starting at 12 p.m. But overall today, I'm just gonna be cleaning all of my room and this complete mess. first thing that I really want to take care of today is to move this bookshelf. So instead of having all of my shipping supplies in the closet, I think I'm just going to have everything laid out here and organized and since it'll be in the open, it'll make me more conscious about organizing it on a daily basis. <laughs>
next day, I've been just working on my commission in the morning because I kind of wanted to get that out of the way and done before I get into cleaning mode again. But today, I'm going to finally tackle my closet. I think in the meantime, I'm also going to make a quick trip to Daiso to see if there's anything that I want to spruce up the room and any like decor. Maybe to get like a few shelves here, like very small shelves. <sighs> there are way more people here than I thought there would be, but you know what? Still gonna go. Okay, I'm just in the parking lot of the Daiso and this entire family came to Daiso and they have an unleashed chihuahua. What? Are they really gonna try to bring the chihuahua into the store? To be honest, I didn't really find a lot of decor, so I just ended up buying a lot of random things. But the only thing that I really wanted was this little bike. Look how cute it is. And then the rest of the things I got were just like snacks, more decorating washi tape supplies for orders. I thought these black post-it notes would be interesting since I don't really see a lot of these, so maybe I could do some art on these. of my plants. <laughs> Sometimes it kind of just feels like I'm invading the space of where all my plants are instead of the other way around. They're really taking over. Please help. <laughs> so it's been about three days later and my studio is finally clean. I know a lot of you wanted to know about the specifics about my studio and honestly I was kind of anxious about posting this video mostly because like I just didn't feel like there was enough content to put because it's just like a room. Since the room itself is kind of small, it felt like there wasn't much to show. But in the end, I thought like, since you guys want to see, I'll show you. <laughs> 
So nothing really much changed except moving around a few cabinets and all that. But I just wanted to highlight a few things that I really like about my studio and I hope you guys will too. So let's get on to the tour. One part of the studio that I really love is definitely the couch. It's a, you know, just a generic IKEA couch that's kind of small but fits the theme of this room. I would say I house all my plushies on here. I think it's definitely nice that I'm able to have this sofa here because then I can at least have some time away from my laptop or my iPad while I'm drawing so that I could come here and do a little rest. What I love most about the couch area is actually this decal. So at Art Center, the college I went to, when we graduated, we all got a wall space to showcase our work. And I decided to make this little decal at the bottom of my wall, and it looked like this. In the end, for the prints, I decided to go with this kind of more minimalistic look to it. For now, I just want this range of color palette, and then I'm thinking about switching it throughout the seasons and as I collect more prints from more friends and artists that I admire. And I added a hook for my bag so that it kind of balances things out and looks a little less empty. Now the main focus of my room now is definitely the shipping shelf. So what used to be just like my regular bookshelf now becomes like my shipping hub where I keep all my bubble mailers. I have my friend's cameo, the sticker cutter on the bottom. Beforehand, I think I kind of had everything all over the place where most of my things were just hidden in the closet so I didn't have to really worry about like how messy and disorganized it looked. Along with just the shelf, I have my shipping cart, which is the IKEA cart that I kept organizing and reorganizing a few times now. But now it has all my inventory stuff except for some prints. So this cart holds all of my sticker inventory and all the things that I would want to go into packaging, which includes like the washi tapes that I want to be using this week, some stamps and stamp pads, and labels and whatnot. I've also got one more thing on my shelf. I found this recently. This is one of my sticker sheets that I made a long time ago. I think like a year and a half as well. Hopefully. I still really like the designs, but I'm not I'm not fully confident with how it looks right now. And I was thinking about making a video where I just solely redesigned these and I wanted to see what you guys think. So please let me know down in the comments below. The first area as you enter my room is my little bookshelf corner. My room is filled with a lot of fake plants that blends in with the real plants and a lot of small plushies. I think this part of my room is the most cluttered, I guess, but with like some form of organization. A lot of the times I like to collect pins from friends and people I meet from conventions and then they all gather here. I decided to make a little print for myself. I got a toast plate here with some little knickknack enamels. These two I made here. And this one is for my friend Kate. One part of this corner is my printer. So it's hiding under this cloth. I have this one large head printer that does quite a bit of printing for me ever since college. A lot of people were wondering what kind of printer that I use. I use the Epson Artisan 1430. Unfortunately, this is a discontinued printer and off the market. And to be honest, I am going to be looking into a different printer in the future. Under that, I've just got a lot of printing supplies, my cutting mat, and shipping labels and all that. And you know, stuff that I just like to hide under the blanket. Moving on, this is my plant shelf. Here I've kind of organized a lot of things that I've collected as well throughout the years. These I got from prints from a friend, and then these are also books from conventions, and then also my own sketchbook. This one I had for college, my graduation show where I had a lot of little prints and whatnot that I wanted to make into a collection. Over here are a lot of my plants that needed some light from this window. I really like this shelf that goes flat towards the wall and has a lot of room for small things. And it's actually been proven to be pretty sturdy because these pots are pretty big. I've got my own layer of fake grass along with fake plants and mostly pothos and peperomias. Here is my string of hearts variegated. I've got a peperomia, 
an air plant, a lot of knickknacks. This is a mold that my friend made. It's pretty cool. Collection of rocks. Don't know why. A Procreate pen. That's something that I got recently. And then on the last kind of sad shelf, this is my one fern that I really loved that died. He's still with us. We don't talk about Fred. And then I've got my little new machine here, which is a label maker. Honestly, so excited to use this. It's going to save me so much time. One thing that kind of gets ignored a lot is this rubber tree. He's pretty big, but he's not growing the best, mostly because lack of light. So I'm thinking of moving him out of the room soon. But overall, he's a beautiful tree. Moving on is the plants next to my desk. And honestly, these guys are absolutely gorgeous. This lady here is my pinstripe calathea, and unfortunately she is the only and first plant that I've had the unfortunate meeting of spider mites. So this guy had spider mites twice, and I really hope they don't come back. Got zebra plants here and ferns. I was packing orders today, so those are all the envelopes of my packages. I've got this really cute bear mug from a friend. And I'm putting a lot of my string of hearts propagations in this. One thing I definitely have to focus on are my plants. I got this wooden stool for my graduation show as well, and I didn't want to return it, and it turned out to be a really great plant stand. It goes really well with this monster, so I'm glad it has a purpose. And of course I have to talk about my plant show. So I was really lucky to have this little ledge to have all my plants in or else I don't think I, ha I would have anywhere to put my plants. <laughs> I think I'll definitely make a video in the future where I go more in depth about my plants. But for now, this is just a little introduction. This is a variegated Maranta, much like the one that it's on my trolley cart. Over here I have more uh, succulent and hardy plants that need more sunlight. For example, the Hoya Carey. One kind of cool thing I want to showcase on my shelf is this butterfly. This was given to me by a friend and I don't know why, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to just collect bugs that I found and hopefully cast them in resin one day, but I never did it, so it lives with a butterfly. One thing I want to focus on is that like, I never really had like an overall theme or like goal when it came to organizing or designing this room, it kind of just came naturally. One thing that really helped was buying this Ikea rug. I watch a lot of Cat Creature, and I remember early on I saw in one of her vlogs, I think it was, she had this one green carpet, or Lilith had a green carpet. Someone had a green carpet that looked like grass. I just really wanted a, a carpet that looked like grass. Like, I think it really ties the room in together quoting the big Lebowski. <laughs> so after like seeing it in her own videos, I thought I could find this. And sure enough, I saw it in Ikea and I got it. <laughs> it was the best $30 I've ever spent, I think. Um, without the carpet, I think my room kind of loses personality and it's a little bit bare. It really helps tie in all the plants together as well. And yeah, that should be everything that really goes into my studio. I think overall, I'm just really grateful and happy to have a place where I can thrive and where my plants could thrive. I hope in the coming months or however long I do spend my time in the studio, it'll still thrive as much as I've had it so far and definitely keep it as clean as I can. <laughs> I really do hope that you enjoyed this studio tour. I don't think I was the best at presenting all the bits of it, but it's a little more insight than before. <laughs> In summary, my studio is plants, greens, and art supplies. So that's about it. <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Uh, I don't know what's interesting about my room, but I hope you like it. <laughs>